Hello, Intermediate. Father Skillman here coming to talk with you about our virtue for the month of May. By the way, May is a month in which we turn in a special way to Mary, our Blessed Mother. So let's pray to her with great fervor today as we reflect upon our virtue for the month of May. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. St. Gerard Magella, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So our last virtue for this school year is the virtue of responsibility. We define that virtue as being reliable in your duties and accountable for your actions. And so I decided to make this video right here next to my good friend, St. Joseph. This is a statue of him that I keep in my office because I think he's a great model for us of the virtue of responsibility. You've got another model in your virtue curriculum this month, St. Henry, and I certainly encourage you to maybe look him up and learn a little bit about him and why he's a model of responsibility. But I want to talk to you especially about St. Joseph today and how he uh, exemplifies for us this call to be responsible, reliable in our duties. So if you think about it, what were the duties of St. Joseph? Well, first of all, he had duties as a husband. He and Mary were married, and we even learn in the Bible about how he very faithfully and uh, generously and courageously carried out his duties as a husband. If you remember, Mary uh, was found to be with child. She was pregnant by a miracle of the Holy Spirit. And St. Joseph wasn't quite sure what to do, how to respond to that. They hadn't yet come to live together as husband and wife. And the angel came to him, Gabriel came to him in his dream and said, don't be afraid, Joseph, but take Mary, your wife, into your home. God was giving him, through the angel, this duty to care for, to protect, to support Mary as she uh, prepared to bring Jesus to birth into our world. And how wonderfully he did that, how care caring and, and faithful and supportive he was of Mary. Then when Jesus was born, he had a new duty, the duty of being a father. In this statue, you see uh, the baby Jesus here in the arms of St. Joseph. If you remember from the Bible, soon after Jesus was born, King Herod came after him with his anger, with his wrath, wanting to, to kill this newborn king. And so the angel warned St. Joseph again in a dream and said, take the child Jesus and his mother and fly, flee into Egypt, run away to keep that baby safe from Herod. And so that's just one example of the many ways that Joseph, often having to make great sacrifices, cared for Jesus as a father. As he grew, he taught him and fed him and clothed him, gave him a good home. He was reliable in his duties as a father. And the third way that, uh, the third duty that Joseph had, St. Joseph, was to be a worker. He was a carpenter. And so he built things out of wood for people who needed them. And people would come and place their orders, and he was very responsible in fulfilling his duties to those people who had asked him to do these things. And that fulfillment of his responsibility as a worker was also the way that he continued to provide for his family. He was able to make money, have an income, so that he could give Jesus and Mary what they needed. So Joseph is a responsible uh, saint that we can learn from about how we can be reliable in our duties. Think about your life now. What are your duties? Well, you have duties as a student, right? That's kind of your job, if you will, at this time in your life. And so responsibility uh, is all about, you know, reading what you're assigned to read and doing the homework you're assigned and preparing well for your tests so that you can learn, so that you can grow in wisdom and knowledge as a student. Summer's coming. And it's a time when uh, you're not formally in school, but hopefully even into the summer, you'll continue that work. You'll continue to look for ways to be reliable in your duty as a student to learn and to grow. You also, of course, have duties to your family, uh, to be a good son or daughter, a good brother or sister in your family. You probably have chores around the house that you have to be reliable in doing. And also just that, that call to, to, be, to be present to your family, you know? 
not to have your head always uh, buried on a screen, playing video games or watching TV constantly, uh, but making time to just be with your family, to give them your love, your support, and your presence. You know, the other part of responsibility, we said in the definition, was being accountable for your actions. What it means to be accountable is to be willing to admit when we've made a mistake, when we've done something wrong. And we all struggle. You know, we all have difficulty sometimes being reliable in our duties. And so the other part of this virtue is just admitting, honestly, when we've failed. And just fessing up to what we've done and being willing to start over again. You know, it's okay to struggle and sometimes to fail as long as we're ready to admit it and start over again. But St. Joseph wants to help us even to do that as well. So I just invite you to think about how you can live this virtue of responsibility uh, at home in this month of May and how you can look to St. Joseph as a wonderful example for you. So we're going to conclude with a little prayer to him for our families. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Gracious St. Joseph, protect my family and all other families from danger, as you protected the baby Jesus and his mother from the wrath of King Herod. Pray for us that we respect, love, and care for each other in our family, as you did with Mary and Jesus. Help us to be understanding and forgiving towards each other. Most of all, St. Joseph, bring us closer to Jesus. St. Joseph, please pray for our family. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.